The cracks have begun to show in China's economy and today I will show you nine reasons why China's bubbles are bursting. There's a lot to cover. I'm just going to go briefly into each of them. And if you want to look into them into more detail, the sources will be in the description as always. China home prices fall in most cities on weak demand and they calculated here 64 of the 70 cities last month saying that, you know, this is a meaningful decline that is occurring occurring here and this is in China where the property boom was very significant. I'm going to go on quickly and fire off a few in a row. Look at the daily coal consumption. It's down. Look at the steel price versus inventory. It's down. Look at the iron ore price versus inventory. That's down and cement price as well. These are together very, very meaningful because new construction, new home sales and Basically, essentially getting things in the economy going are all headed downward. These are very significant and these are things that we have to really look out for, in particular with China being one that you know buys and invests in things around the world. Let's look at this financially here. Last year, investment leaped from 48% of China's GDP to over 54%, the biggest surge in the ratio since 1993. I would also mention that their 2013 GDP growth fell to a 13-year low of 7.7%. Now, 7.7% is significantly high compared to some other countries, particularly in Europe, but that is a 13-year low, and it means to me, it means to other economists who are warning about this as well, that this marks a very significant slowdown. Now, that 7.7% number, how exactly are they coming to that? I will get to that in a moment. I just wanted to discuss with you what's happening right now, all this system that we have it seems to be collapsing before our very eyes in many different directions. Now, I would like to say right off the bat that China may not go into negative GDP growth, but it is slowing down. That's what people need to realize. Now, I just wanted to go into this very briefly for my book. You can see the diagram there for yourself. But basically how China is supporting the economies around the world, and in particular the United States, where they're buying up their debt. Now, if they stop this from happening, it will totally destroy everything. Now, of course, they don't want to do this because they have vested interest, but they are diversifying out of the US dollar and they are basically partnering up with the other BRIC nations, in particularly with Russia. And that's something you need to really pay attention to. Let's go on. PBOC to use new tools for liquidity operations. I got into this prior in other videos, but basically they're printing up some money and then of course not calling it that, but they're calling it liquidity operations. And it was a trillion yuan if I remember correctly. And essentially just another type of quantitative easing that they must do in order to support their economy. Let's go on. This is what I was talking about, the GDP. Now take a look at this. This is out of Goldman Sachs saying, in the coming months, China's National Bureau of Statistics is to make adjustments to the methodology used to calculate GDP. These adjustments are likely to boost the real GDP growth by 0.1 to 0.2%, uh, making it easier for the government to reach its goal of around 7.5% GDP growth in 2014. And basically what they're saying here is that they're going to fix the numbers in order to get the numbers that they deserve. Desire. Now, that is very, uh, very funny, actually, when you think about it, because they can just make up the number. Who's to say they aren't doing this already? And it's no different than the way that the U.S. and other countries calculate their inflation, their unemployment statistics, and all the others, because they're just making it up. They can just change the way that uh, they calculate it. And the way they do this, for example, with the CPI is... Uh, they can take steak out of the equation, replace it with ground beef because things get too expensive. People would change their habits, they say. So instead of the ground beef, they can go down and down and down. And pretty much it, it really doesn't uh, account for the daily prices that people have to pay. It's, it's all really a scam. China manufacturing slowdown ripples through the region. China's manufacturing is excessively important to their economy. It's pretty obvious. And this was the case for the Western nations, in particular, for example, in 
in Canada, in the US, where you have manufacturing being a very important part. They are basically are a well-paying jobs that support the middle class. However, that has all changed when you have bailouts literally funding the move for factories out into the third world, like China, like in Brazil, where they took the bailout money, used it, for example, with with the example of GM, moved their factories over to China into Brazil as well. And that, of course, doesn't mean very uh, good for the future of the US. If you found this information informative, please give me a thumbs up and that will signal to me that you like it as well as you need to share this video with your friends and family on the uh, social media platforms and don't forget to become an insider it's where i give out all my best intel and it is at the moneygps.com you scroll down to the bottom and you get occasional emails from me with short concise info